Hello guys, we're playing Ultima 5 today, and uh, we are going to be heading into the dungeon Despise. Um, because I realized something last time. Um, oh, that's a rat, I don't want to fight him. Uh, we've already read this, right? Uh, yeah, the Maze of Lost Souls is what that says. Um, oh, yeah, and that's right, it's a pit trap. So we've been in this dungeon briefly. Um, but didn't go very far down. Let's go... Let's see if we can get down here. Um, the reason I'm in this dungeon is because, uh, it turns out there's actually two different places you can enter the, oops, underworld, other than, um, other than through dungeons. So there is... Oh man, this seems pretty straightforward. Well, sort of. There's lots of ways down here. Um... Oh, there's a ghost. I'll ignore him. So there's two different ways into the underworld. The Spiritwood Waterfall does not take you to the same place you go <laughs> if you um, if you go into a whirlpool with a ship, as I've found out. So uh, Despise actually takes you down to that area of the dungeon, and that one is where John lives. So the reason I couldn't find him at the place where I was looking is because he's not there. There's a bomb trap in that corner. Hmm. Okay. There wasn't, wasn't anything else there. So yeah, we're gonna go down this way. Oh! There's the underworld. That was easy. Okay. So Despise is an easy one to navigate, it looks like. Oops. Alright, so now we're in the right general area. Uh, and we do still need to go back to where we were before to go get the amulet. I kind of know where that is now. Uh, but I think John is just... Oh, crap. Just over to the west here. Very nearby. Is this his place? This might be... Yes, I found him! Oops, why did I do that? Uh, this isn't a dungeon. I can just go in here. Like this. Ararat is the place. Yeah, see, it's a it's a ship, which has sunken. There's a okay, that's a that's a stump. Here we go. Here's John. At long last, another living soul. My name is John, Captain John. I fear the Shadow Lords. That's your job. Years ago, my ship was swallowed by a massive whirlpool. Years ago. Wow, you've been here for years. Man, you're doing a good job. <laughs> Surviving down here. Um, the remains of my ship washed up on this isle with myself and three others. When I recovered, I explored my surroundings and found a great gem broken into three shards. Oh! Why, yes. The shards, full of evil, drove me to kill my three companions, and from their blood sprang the three shadow lords. Whoa. Oh, wow. Taking the shards deep into this underworld, they entrapped Lord British and hold Blackthorn in their power. They spare me only to taunt me with such news until my dying day. Would thou save Britannia? Hopefully, uh, uh, I hope, I hope, ooh, <laughs> I hope so. Might I join thee? Yes, please. Let me avenge my wrongdoing. Good. So here we go. We got John. He is a mage with uh, pretty good stats. His strength is subpar, but so is Mariah's. Hers is even lower, and that doesn't really matter. His intelligence is very good. Uh, he's only level 3, but that's okay. We can fix that with some leveling. Good, so that is our 6th party member. That's interesting. I didn't know that guy was uh, so important to the lore of this game, but now I do. Okay, so you get that and that and magic axe and the best armor you can wear, which is probably going to be... Oh, right. <laughs> I already have a shield on. Uh, Iron Helm. There we go. Wait. I didn't give him a suit of armor. There we go. <laughs> that's better. Alright, and that's John. Is there anything else in this ship? Mm -hmm. Doesn't particularly look like it. Oh, what the... Wait a minute. Boom! <laughs> um, wait, I'm confused. Okay, can't talk to that mirror. 
Oh, I found a scroll. It is Relhur. Okay, makes sense. Oh, I see. Okay, so I'm upstairs now, but when I do that, I'm downstairs. Somehow I missed that transition. I thought I was somehow... Oh, that thing goes away at night, even though there's not really a day-night cycle down here. Anyway, uh, let's leave. And, uh, yeah, that's what we wanted to get done here. I don't think there's much of anything else in this area. Just up north of here is where you end up if you uh, go in a whirlpool. So let's go back up through the spies. Oh, this is a pain. How do I get around this? Can I climb that? No. Oh, do I have to... Oh, here we go. There's a path. Ah, don't want to fight bats. Go away, bats. Ow. A ring has vanished. Wait, who was wearing a... Uh, somebody was wearing a ring of regeneration, I guess. All right, well, let me take out these bats, then we'll go back up through the spies and head back down through Death Star? Yeah, that's the place. Um, and then we will try and get the amulet. All right, bats are down. Just took another look at John's stats. He has a long way to go, so 210 experience is all he has. Other people are all over 1,000, so I'm going to have to find a good uh, grinding spot for him, but that shouldn't be too hard. I'm sure I can make that happen. But yeah, we'll definitely get him uh, leveled up to match the rest of us, and then um, we'll have a real good party composition. Where am I? Not where I want to be. I think that's where I want to be, maybe? See if I can get there without fighting the squid. Here we go. Wait, I feel like I'm in the wrong place again. Where was that dungeon? Oh, it was over here, wasn't it? Getting lost in here again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the amulet is inaccessible from uh, this part of the underworld. Oh, well. Uh, let's see if we can actually take down some mong bats. I hate these stupid things, but maybe... Okay, um, since they don't use magic, we're going to cast Rail Tim. So we will all be quicker than them. Because I think part of, part of what makes them so annoying is that they're so quick. They take a lot of hits. They don't drop any loot. Uh, I do wonder how much experience they give. Maybe they're worthwhile for that. But let's just try and kill them before any of them could get to any of us. Okay, well that one's critical, so somebody should stay on it. That's the one. Good, one's dead. Let's see, how hard do these guys hit? It's pretty hard, isn't it? Oh, they do drop chests, okay. But, uh, wait, didn't we do this before? We saw their chests contain, like, almost nothing good. Wish I had some better, uh, area of effect spells. Here, let's cast... Let's try Inzu. Oh, MP too low. Well, never mind that. Actually, there's a couple of spells I wanted to try out here. Um, let's see, I've mixed them up and written them down. Um... Which one is relevant here? Uh, let's cast... Kalzen. That's a very low-level spell that we haven't really played with at all. So that's given me a giant rat, which is under my control, I believe. Um, and... There's also Inbet Zen, which does something similar. Jeffrey's in a bad spot there. Should do something about that. Oh yeah. Um let's let's cast let's heal him a little bit. Oh, and our quickness ran out, so Oh, and he's not gonna have enough MP to cast it again. Hang on, what what level spell is that? Is that a fifth or a sixth circle? Rel Tim. Fifth. Okay, so Mariah can cast it too. Good. We'll have her do that in her next turn. Oh, well, that rat's gone. <laughs> well, I guess it was a, a little bit of a distraction for the ones back there. Not too useful, though. 
Ow, 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 ow. Um, Mariah, please get a turn. There we go. Oh, man, nobody has an EMP. How'd that happen? All right, well, <laughs> I think Jeffrey's gonna die. Unless I can move him back, maybe. Um, could Gweno cast it, maybe? Hmm. John can't. He's too low level. All right, you move back. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's what I wanted. All right, so we're quick again. Need to uh, keep my eye on that buff so we know when it's going to go away. Mariah can take a few hits, so we're going to worry about our other party members first. All right, that one's dead. Good. Good. Okay, this is going okay. Good. Should be able to take out the rest of these in peace, I think. Let's cast uh, in bet Zen. Oh, MP too low. Nobody has any magic. Okay, well, I need to... I guess I need to camp after this, because everybody's health is really low, and MP is apparently empty. All right, let's see if we can figure out how much, um... How much experience these guys have? Uh, I'd have to rem I've, I'd have to remember everybody's. Ex okay, well, it's most likely Barnabas is going to get the killing blow. So twenty six, twenty seven. If he happens to, we'll see how that compares. Oh, well, John has magic. Maybe he can cast one of these spells. No, he's too low level. Never mind. Inbet Zen is Insect Swarm, I think, so it summons a bunch of things under your control. Okay, there we go. He got the kill. Alright, so he was at 26.27. Now he's at 26.33. So six experience each. Hmm. So not worth it. And these chests have just nothing in them, as I recall. Yeah, sack of gold. 15. So not worth it. All right, but we killed a group of those now, so we know what that's like. And actually, while we're still in combat, uh, John is going to play healer a little bit. Oh, look at that. <laughs> um, and heal Jeffrey. I'm doing this in combat just so we don't use turns out of combat where we could get into another fight. And he should heal himself up a little bit too. Alright, Jeffrey's up to 90. Let's get John up to 92 if we can. There we go. Okay. Now, Despise is over here. Was it, like, right on the water? Hmm. There it is. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's save here. Yeah, so, um, last episode, or after last episode, I actually forgot to save. I know this isn't the right way up, but maybe it's a way up. No. Um, I actually forgot to save after that episode, so I had to backtrack a little bit. Uh, lost some of my progress, but that's okay. Uh, it wasn't too bad. We, um, I went back up through the dungeon. Yeah, the last, uh, last save was still in the underworld. I think right after we killed that one dragon. Um, gonna have to fight these guys. Um, so yeah, just had to go through that dungeon again, do that crazy, well, those that sequence of crazy fights with the dragons and the demons and all the stuff. Um, yeah, the bottom of uh, Death Star, that was the one, is a lot of fun, but pretty brutal. But yeah, then I just went back up, up to the overworld and uh, got some 
I should really put on the crown? What am I thinking? Um, maxed out my reagents, mixed up the spells I wanted to try out. Um, actually, there's another one I want to try here. Who has... Is anybody... Okay, you have four. John has nine. What's the thing I want to cast? It's fifth circle, so nobody, nobody who has, uh, nobody in my party can currently cast it. All right, well, let's take out these gazers. Go back upstairs. Probably camp a few times. Camping is still the only way I know to restore MP. Um, like sleeping in beds doesn't doesn't get you rested, and drinking from fountains doesn't do it. There aren't any potions that do it, so that's kind of annoying. But I guess camping's pretty essential to the game, since it's the only way to level up as well. Um, and actually, let's see, is somebody ready for a level up? I feel like they might be. I'll get this gazer down, then I'll check. Alright. Uh, Barnabas is level 6. No, we need 3200 for level 7. Shamino's getting close. But yeah, nobody else is there yet. Okay. So no level ups yet. Let me see if I can get out of this dungeon as quickly as I got into it. Um, it was pretty easy, although there were a few trap doors that I fell down along the way. Let's look at a map to make sure we don't do that. Okay, I know that this is right. Okay. There's a lot of ways down. I must have just happened to pick the right one right away. Alright, so we only got north. Oh, there's a ghost. Three ghosts. Oops, missed. That wasn't my character was missing, that was me missing. <laughs> Alright, let me kill these ghosts, then we'll see if we can get out of this dungeon. Oh, this will take no time at all. Uh, oops. Let's see if we can have John solo them, uh, because he needs the experience most. There's one. And there's the other. Yeah, John should, so, uh, John should solo all the battles that he possibly can. Um... But yeah, I'll, I'll find a good spot for that at some point. First, I want to get back to the underworld the other way and go find the amulet. Alright, well, he can probably take these. They're not a threat when I'm wearing the crown, right? Yeah, there we go. I'll take a little bit of damage this way, but that's okay. Oh yeah, this makes battle much more straightforward, for the most part. I wonder... I wonder if this game would be possible to, uh... to do with only one party member the whole way through. It'd actually be simpler in a lot of ways. Might be fun to give that a try. I don't know if that'd be worth recording, but I'm kind of tempted to do another run through this game after this, and, uh... See if that's a thing that can be done. It probably wouldn't be, given how dull the combat is. Uh, but it's a it's a thought. Is this the way I want to go? Yes. And of course we have monsters here. Uh, okay, John. That was easy. How's he doing? Two fifty five. All right, he's making some progress. That's like 50 experience since we got him, which isn't too bad. Okay, don't fall in any of the pits. So there are a lot of them here. Oh, and gremlins. Okay. Just one of them. Don't see all my food! Not that I have any shortage of it. Mm. 
And this should get us... Oh, man, seriously? So many enemies here, this is ridiculous. Alright, some people are probably gonna get poisoned in the course of this, but... You know what? That's not so bad. He needs the experience badly enough that I'm gonna just take it. Yep, Barnabas is poisoned. That's fine. Oh, he's taking a good bit of damage, actually. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's taking a lot of damage. I didn't know giant rats hit that hard. Alright, well, as soon as I get outside, I'm gonna spend some time camping, get rested so I can get my MP back. At least it all comes back when you rest. So that's something. Here, let's, let's just have this guy open the chests in case there's... Oh, well, acid. There we go. Oh, and I'd already cured him of poison, hadn't I? <laughs> so that was a waste. Alright, whatever. There's the exit. Okay, let me spend a little bit of time camping uh, to get my health and magic back. And then... Um, oh, yeah, do this. Then we're going to go back down Destard and um, go for the amulet. So I'll see you guys then. Hmm. Well, I came in here to uh, Covetous in order to use the healing fountains. Uh, and I figured I'd stay just a little bit and uh, kill some stuff with John so he could level up. Because he's pretty close to level 4 now. But um, I am almost certain that I've cleared this room before. So I'm wondering if things have actually respawned here. Um... I don't know how the mechanics work, if things even do respawn in this game. Um, but it seems like they might, unless this happens to be a room that I haven't already cleared. It might just look exactly like another one that I have. Which is quite possible, a lot of stuff in here looks exactly the same. Um, so... Yeah, that's interesting. So I'm gonna spend just a little bit more time in here. I think he has... let's see, how he's, how's he doing? The 3, 384, he's really close. Uh, Mariah stood guard last night when I camped, uh, so even though everybody else got rested, her magic is still zero, so I need to camp again anyway. Uh, so I figure I might as well see if I can level up John at the same time. So I'm gonna spend a little bit more time in this dungeon. I think we've seen enough of it that there's... oh crap, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, we've seen enough of it that there's probably no reason to uh, include that, because it all looks pretty much the same. Um, but yeah, I can get, a, get John a little more experience. There we go. That's what I wanted to happen. Now he's safe. Um, gonna get him a little bit more experience, then camp so he can level up, and then we'll be ready to head back to the underworld. Well, okay, maybe uh, I just hadn't been to that one room, because this one right across from it is already cleared, so... Alright, I'm gonna assume I just didn't clear that room before, not that stuff respawned, so that's probably what's going on. Well, okay, now this is weird. So this room is clear, but it is just to the west of a room that was not clear when I came into it, that I would have had to uh, go through to get there, so... I don't know, it seems like some things may be respawning. Because uh, there was nothing particularly tricky about clearing this room. I mean, there was a daemon hidden in here, but all I had to do was push on the grave to open it. So, huh. Seems like things respawn, but not in a very consistent pattern. Maybe it's random. Maybe uh, it's based on how long it's been since you were since you cleared the room, and I'm right on the threshold. That's possible. But yeah, that's interesting. Alright, well I spent some time in Covetous and got John up to just short of level 5. Um, didn't take nearly as long as I expected, it was actually pretty easy. So what I want to do is camp, get an apparition, get him to level 4, get him 5 more experience, get him to level 5, and then we'll head down the uh, waterfall near Spiritwood and uh, get the amulet in the underworld. But first, since I'm right next to a shrine, there's something I've been wanting to try here. So I have heard that shrines do not like uh, like it if you use the wrong mantra at them. So I want to see if that maybe is uh, what triggers the um, the destruction of a shrine, because I don't know any other way that it could happen. So this is the Shrine of Compassion, and we are going to meditate on it. And let's try just nothing here. And thoughts are unfocused. Okay, what if I use a 
What if I use a valid mantra that's just not of that shrine? Let's see. How about the one of honesty, which is um? No. Okay, it's still standing. No? Okay, try one more thing here. So we tried right virtue, wrong word, wrong virtue, uh, wrong word. Now we're trying wrong virtue, right word. So the word of uh, compassion is mu. No. All right, well, it's still a mystery to me to, as to uh, how shrines can get destroyed. But anyway, that's, that doesn't really matter that much. All right, I'm um, going to head over in the general direction of Spirit Wood, but also camp along the way. Might take several times, as we've seen. Uh, camping's so annoying in this game. But yeah, let's camp a little bit more here and see if we can level up. There we go. Took like four or five more campfires, so that wasn't so bad. Not as bad as last time, but still, it's just too low a chance. All right, so John's the only guy who's ready to level up. Shamino is pretty close. We could probably push him over the edge if we wanted to and get him to level six. All right, so John, hail John for thy valiant deeds. I was now level four and stronger. Okay, well he was pretty weak before, so the strength could come in handy. Quickness is what I really want. But anyway, so good. John's level four, uh, so now we can use him in combat again and get a little bit more experience to get him to level five. Um, but let's actually just do that in the underworld. I'm going to head in the direction of Spirit Wood, which is actually pretty close to here. Um, probably don't even need to cut away if I can remember where it is. Right around here, this is the one. All right, here we go. So we're in the underworld, and I think I sort of know the route. So you remember that big pool of water that was south of here? I think it was sort of south and a little bit west, so let's try going this way. Um, that's where we needed to go. There was that one... Oh, no, 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 we will not be fighting those. There was that one uh, patch of marshland that I thought was nothing. Uh, I thought it was a dead end, but there was... The one part of it I didn't explore is apparently the way you need to go. So this should get us where we need to be. Okay, this is the... Is this the one? This is the one. Yeah, here we go. Let's see, wait, uh, to the east, yeah, okay, so southeast of here. Turns out I do have a map of the underworld somewhere, so I just consulted it a little bit and figured out where I think the amulet is. Hopefully I'm right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. here's the marshland. So it was sort of northeast of where you come into it. Yeah, there's a little path leading off right here that I had missed before, I think. Yeah, this should lead us where we need to be. There we go. Okay. Uh, so, among the graves of... Let's see. Uh, corpse. Nothing on him. What does it say? Um... Here lies a valiant uh, knight. What does that say? Okay. G One second. Garassi, or however you would pronounce that. That's his name. Um, I don't know if we really need to look at all of these, but yeah. So here lies a valiant knight. Uh... Noen. Yeah, these are all part of the uh, story that's included with the supplemental material. I mean, you know, just have the, the names of all the people who died here. These were part of uh, Lord British's party. But here we go. Got the Amulet of Lord British. Awesome. I've been uh, waiting for that for quite a while. Kind of want to get over to that flame and take a look at it, but it's inaccessible. Because um, it looks like one of the, the flames of... of uh, not a virtue of the three... What do you even call those? Truth, love, and courage. I don't know what, what uh, category those belong to. <laughs> they're not virtues. They're another thing. 
Okay, well, so now we're down in the underworld, and we need to get back up uh, via Death Star again. And that'll probably allow John to level up. So let's see, after this... After this, I think I'm going to do some experience grinding. Um, try and fully clear some of the dungeons we've seen previously. And then head down uh, through Shame to check out the Dungeon Doom. Now, is the amulet something I can use? Oops, oops, that's a crown. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, I can put on the amulet. Okay, and it looks like that. Um, so it says you need it to find your way through the unholy darkness. So I'm guessing there's something, something I'm not going to be able to get through over near the, oops, over near the final dungeon. Um, here we go. Is this going to push John over the edge? Uh, which I won't be able to get through if I'm not wearing the amulet. So we have that. So it's just kind of a key to the final dungeon in a way, I think. So he should still be, yeah, 795. So you know, we've, we've seen all this already, uh, getting out of the underworld, going up, up Death Star. Um, so maybe I'll actually stop the episode here, because we got the amulet, that was sort of our goal. Oops. Um, and yeah, I need to, need to spend some time leveling up, and uh, then we'll go through shame and go for the final dungeon. So, I'll see you guys then.